Uh, with regard to the, uh, the strike last night, uh, at uh, the President's direction, uh, U.S. military forces conducted airstrikes against facilities used by uh, Iranian-backed militia groups uh, in the Iraq-Syria uh, border region. Uh, they targeted facilities used by uh, groups responsible for recent attacks on uh, U.S. interests in Iraq. Uh, specifically, uh, they targeted uh, operational and weapons storage facilities at two locations in Syria, one location in Iraq, both with um, uh, very close to the border between the countries, several Iran-backed militia groups, uh, including KH, uh, including KSS, uh, use these facilities. Um, we have been very clear, the President has been very clear throughout that uh, we will act to protect U.S. personnel. Uh, and given these ongoing attacks that uh, you referred to by Iran-backed groups targeting uh, our uh, interests in Iraq, uh, he directed further military action, we've taken action previously, to disrupt and deter uh, these attacks. And there is uh, a need for uh, countries to take uh, action to uh, repatriate uh, foreign fighters that come from, uh, from those countries, uh, to prosecute them where appropriate, uh, to uh, rehabilitate and reintegrate them uh, where appropriate. Uh, and there is some uh, urgency to this. I, I noted in the meeting a number of countries that have taken uh, very concrete steps, including, by the way, Italy, as well as the United States, but also a number of, uh, of other countries, uh, for example, in Central Asia, uh, as well as in, uh, in the Balkans, that uh, have taken important steps. Uh, but more work clearly uh, needs to be done. Uh, the number of foreign terrorist fighters uh, who are um, in detention in, uh, in Syria is uh, significant. The larger group that uh, comprises uh, their um, family members, uh, women, children, uh, is also a significant uh, concern. Uh, and I think the, the strong message um, coming out of today's meeting was the need for uh, countries to do more.